guys, so hope you enjoyed that quick look. I did quickly share on uh, Bushcraft, the book, uh, for pictures and for references on what to do. That was the book that I shared. You will note, and I did want to do this little talk after that whole thing to kind of share with you guys how I did my feather sticking, because how I did my feather sticking is different to how a lot of other people feather stick. And you'll notice with a lot of other people what they do, and I, hopefully I can kind of share it with you guys here, is, and I'll be more dramatized here, but they'll start a feather stick like this, and then they'll slightly rotate it, and rotate it, and rotate it, and they're hitting all these high spots. What I find really interesting is that Morris Kohansky actually recommends that you do it exactly the way that I showed you. Now, I'm not going to sit here and argue which way is better or, uh, you know, like which way will get you a better feather stick, but I just wanted to share with you guys kind of how I do it and how uh, Bushcraft the book recommends how you do it. Now, once again, I will say that, you know, times do change, uh, techniques do evolve, but still, to my knowledge, Morris Gohansky recommends the way I do it, and I think ultimately when you do it, the way the book says and the way that I showed, you get a lot larger a curl. If you guys see how much wider these curls are, it's a lot like if you guys have ever worked with a wood plane, that's what these curls look a lot more like. And I think why this setup is a little bit better than the one that I just briefly showed you is if you look at these curls, and I'm not intentionally trying to make them look small, but generally these are a lot smaller curls here. And so what that means is that both of these will light very easily, but these, since they're wider and longer, will burn longer and overall last longer in a fire than small, short, little curls like these. These are more curly, and these may actually catch a little bit easier, but for the most part, these will not last as long as a curl done like this. In addition, these are quite substantially harder to form than a uh, curl like this because once again it goes back to the fact that you're trying to curl a lot larger material as opposed to you know curling really small material anyways I think it's really goes back to more of a personal preference on what you want to achieve and how you want to do it but I thought since you know my uh, the way I do this def definitely differs a little bit from the way other people did th uh, do this um, I thought I'd share that with you guys, and hopefully uh, I can start this series of bushcraft with basic or bushcraft basics with pictures. And I want to kind of reference because a large portion of what I do is in bushcraft, the book by Morse Kohansky. That's a lot how I model my stuff and how I do what I do. Uh, and so hopefully I can model that. I do apologize for the tarp here. And if you guys notice, it's pretty low right now. I can set it up higher, but we actually have so much wind right now that if I set it up taut, it'll actually just like blow up really high and look crazy. So I have to let the tarp kind of sag right now because I don't want it pulling out the back stakes and all this kind of stuff. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this first part of Bushcraft Basics. I think really this is one of the first things about learning to use a knife that you really should try and learn to do because when you start to do feather sticks, not only does that teach you to have a large portion of control over your knife, but it also shows you or teaches you how to do something that can be life-saving uh, in a pinch because once again, you know, uh, curls, regardless to the way you do them, are easier to light than just a straight piece of stick. You know, if you have a feather stick attached to this piece of wood, it'll light a lot faster than just this piece of wood. So it is a very important uh, lesson to know. And one of the first things I recommend to know for handy bushcraft tasks with the knife and uh, that's why this is number one in the Bushcraft Basics with Pictures video or series. Anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Uh, don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe. And as with all my series, you know, uh, can let me know in the comment section below if you want to continue to see this series uh, or if you thought this was valuable information. And that's it for now. And I'm out.